Nine years, three investigations, two verdicts. This is the Arushi Hemraj double murder case. On October 12th, the Allahabad High Court acquitted Rajesh and Nupur Talwar of murdering their 14-year-old daughter Arushi and their stay-at-home domestic help Hemraj. A dramatic U-turn in the case. In November 2013, a special CBI court in Ghaziabad had held the dentist couple guilty and sentenced them to a life in prison. But this guilty verdict was based purely on circumstantial evidence. For instance, the prosecution argued as there was no proof of anyone from outside entering the locked house, only the parents who were already inside could have done it. But the Allahabad High Court said that that was not enough and gave them the benefit of doubt. On the night of 15th May 2008, 14-year-old Arushi was found in a pool of blood in her bedroom. Her throat had been slit, her head bludgeoned. At first, the family's domestic help, Hemraj, was suspected of killing Arushi. But two days later, Hemraj was found dead on the terrace. Why didn't the police unlock the terrace in search of Hemraj or evidence? The police never got around to answering that question. In fact, the entire investigation was botched up. UP police and even journalists had contaminated the entire crime scene. Forensic evidence was reduced to a joke. But there was nothing funny about the media trial that followed. In an interview to an English news channel, Nupur Talwar was seen as not coming across as a grieving mother. In fact, sleazy rumours around the couple's lifestyle were also circulated and a TRP-hungry media lapped it up. As for the investigation, the first CBI team that probed the case blamed Hemraj's friends, Krishna, Rajkumar and Vijay Mandal, whom he was known to share a drink with. In fact, during their narco tests, Krishna even admitted to murdering Arushi and Hemraj. But narco tests are not admissible in court. Unhappy with the probe, the then CBI director Ashwini Kumar constituted a fresh team to investigate the murders. The second CBI team hinted at an honour killing, saying that Dr. Rajesh Talwar had seen his 14-year-old daughter in a compromising position with their domestic help Hemraj and that in a drunk fit of rage had hit his daughter with a golf club and then slit both their throats. But this theory did not offer hard evidence and the CBI moved to file a closure report which although pointed fingers at the Talwars, stopped short of directly accusing them. Rajesh and Nupur Talwar too moved against the CBI closing the case, demanding answers on who killed their daughter. Ironically, the trial court in Ghaziabad took cognizance of that CBI report and ordered a trial against the Talwars themselves. Irony turned to travesty when in November 2013, the Ghaziabad Special Court found the Talwars guilty of murder and sent them to Dasna Jail. Four years on, that verdict was overturned and the Talwars acquitted. But the big questions still remain unanswered. Who killed Arushi and Hemraj? Will we ever know the answers?